There's a new Barron's article that came out today stating that nine S&P 500 companies have removed or decreased their dividend payouts. And that's a sad, sad thing to read from an investor perspective. I think that the dividend can be very important to many investors, but it may not be that important to others. And it really makes me question, I don't know if I want to be invested in a company that is going to completely remove their dividends. Because if they're completely removing their dividends, then that means that the long-term outlook on that company is not looking that great. Now, if they're decreasing, very understandable to me. I think a decrease is more understandable than a complete wipeout. A decrease is still telling me that you can still make it but you just need to shave off a little of the money you're giving me to make sure that you're good. When you completely remove the dividend, that scares me a little bit. So I don't know if I want to be invested in a company that has completely removed their dividend. <coughs> Carnival. <coughs> Chief Economic Advisor Mohammed El Iran says the Fed's buying stock will lead to a zombie market. And... I kind of understand what he's saying and it makes sense. But at the same time, I think that if the feds aren't involved here, then a lot of people lose in this country. A lot of 401ks, a lot of a lot of pensions, you know, they're, they're all gambled and it can affect you one way or another. There has to be someone in your family that is invested in a 401k or invested, in, you know, into a pension. So it's just too much for the American economy to lose at this moment. So I feel like they have to be there. It makes sense for them to be there. But I think that we tend to think that the stock market is a present day indicator and it's not. The stock market indicates the future value of these companies. And that's why I feel like there's another dip coming. And it's part of the game. You know, it's part of the game. It goes up and down. It goes down and up. And we have to understand that and be okay with that and not be nervous and be ready to sell as soon as we start seeing, you know, stuff goes down. Because then we'll look at it later and be like, wow, like that has gone up tremendously. And, you know, zombie markets or not, there will be money in these markets. Like no matter how you feel about it, people are always willing to gamble. Now, maybe it's a zombie market compared to like the big wigs, the bazillionaires, gazillionaires, trillionaires. Maybe for them, it's going to be a zombie market. But for the average person like me and you, um, I think it's still going to be a chance to gamble and win some money. You just have to be strategic. You have to do your research and you have to really put your time in to understand what's going on. 